up family? Welcome to Mini Bites session 32 and today's theme is uh, canceling the debt. Canceling the debt. So my name is Erin McCluskey. I'm a mindset and performance coach. If you would like to learn more about my work or learn more about these videos, see more videos, you can start by visiting www.erinjewelcoaching.com. It's all one word. Erin, E-R-I-N-J-E-W-E-L-L, coaching.com. So today we're going to talk about canceling the debt. This is something that has been coming up for me uh, in a more highlighted way during the last several months, and there are a number of reasons for that. So what do I mean when I say canceling the debt? Well, I'm really talking about forgiveness and the importance of forgiveness. And this is kind of related to the last few um, topics I've discussed regarding clearing the space. So those of you who I've worked with and those of you who have been following these videos know that the last several months I've really been focusing on um, clearing out sort of space to make room for some of the things that I have been praying for, some of the changes and the shifts in my personal and professional life that I've been praying for um, that I'm grateful to say are actually happening in my life at this time. But in order for me to be able to invite those things in to my current environment, I need to clear out anything that is taking up space um, in place of that. So uh, one of those areas is canceling debts. So basically there are um, individuals in my space, in my life, that I am being called to forgive in different ways. And sometimes this is easier said than done. The Dalai, the Dalai Lama himself said, those who believe forgiveness is a weakness have never tried it. And uh, I believe there's really nothing more true than that statement. It can be very, very difficult to forgive somebody, in particular when um, you feel like you are, you know, if I feel like I was right in a situation or I feel like I was hurt somehow in a situation. And so that being said, the fact of the matter is just like I feel like I've been hurt, I know that there are other people out there that feel like they've been hurt by me as well. And so with that, I cannot control the behaviors or actions of others, but what I can do is I can take ownership for my own behaviors and actions. And so canceling the debt is really about, imagine right now, perhaps, you know, we can do this together. Um, imagine someone that you feel like owes you something. Now that could be they owe you money. That could be they owe you, um, maybe you feel like they owe you time back or perhaps an apology. Uh, for something they said, taking a moment now and making a choice to uh, cancel that debt. So making a choice to acknowledge that this individual did something that felt hurtful or acknowledge that you feel like this individual owes you something and making a choice to cancel that and just allow that to remain as it is and no longer feel like this person owes you an apology or that money or that time back. Now, why is it important to do that? So I know I said it's important to clear the space, right? So release the old to allow the new to come in because when we're hanging on to that debt that's owed to us, it actually is taking up space from us being able to invite other things into our life. So that's one reason to do it. Another reason to do it is sometimes we don't get paid back, right? And um, I'm sure, um, you know, if you're a parent, you can really relate to this, having children, you know, literally when they're young, little single digit humans, your job is to keep them alive. It's literally to keep them alive. You feed them and you give them clothes and you give them shelter. And so like, that's like a pretty big thing to do for another human. And it's quite possible that that child will never be able to pay you back. It's quite possible that they'll never sort of keep you alive in that same way. So that being said, you know, when we hang on to these things, these debts, it prevents us from continuing to grow in spirit. It prevents us from being able to grow um, emotionally. Um, it stunts our emotional growth when we hang on to these debts, or maybe we call them resentments, or maybe we call them frustrations, but they literally physically take up space inside of our body and they keep us from being able to progress in other ways. So let's say, for example, you know, you're working out all the time, you're exercising a lot. Uh, you do a lot of personal development work. You read a lot of really good supportive books. Um, let's say you've got a really grounded spiritual practice, but you're hanging on to 
um, sort of resentments and you feel like a lot of people owe you a lot, those, th those feelings of resentment can actually um, nullify, cancel out, void all of that amazing work that you're doing that is self-supported at self-supportive and encouraging that growth in you. And so that was kind of part of my journey. I found myself along the journey doing all this work to cultivate a deeper connection with self emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. And, and in fact, as my spiritual practice continued to grow, I found that a lot of these resentments and a lot of these debts that I felt like were owed to me were really taking up a lot of space and starting to kind of hold me back a little bit from really experiencing and enjoying all of this work I was doing in these other areas of my life. And so I began to make choices about allowing some of these things to fall away and canceling some of these debts. And I'll just end with, you know, as much as I am doing this work to cancel debts of others, uh, I will never be able to repay all of the debts that have been canceled uh, for me to those that I have uh, hurt along the way. And I do truly believe that. And I think that's kind of what makes it so beautiful uh, as we continue to interact with each other on this planet, that we get to do that for each other. We get to hold space for each other and, uh, and cancel those debts. So hopefully um, today you'll find yourself wanting to cancel a debt or two here and there. I love you all until the next time.